You guys saw on Instagram, I'm trying a a messy bun from a tutorial that I watched on YouTube. But like, does it look okay? I feel like it's really low, like next time I'm gonna go higher, but like... Is it okay? I really want to be able to do messy buns, and that's something that has gone away. It's gotten away from me all these years. But we're gonna get started before I go crazy. Alright. Here's the deal. What have I done so far as an intro goes? We're gonna talk about um, favorites today. What month just ended? October? Oh no, October ended. October ended. It's now November. Welcome to November. Um, today we're going to talk about my October favorites, my October fails. I only have one fail, actually, and I wasn't originally going to have it be a fail, but I tried to use it to do this right before I started filming, and it didn't... You guys? Oh, you guys. I don't even know how this looks. If this looks like complete garbage, um, don't tell me because it's going to crush my soul. I think it looks okay. I mean, like, tell me. Give me constructive. Be constructive. All right. Listen up, folks. So I'm going to do, I've got beauty favorites. I have some lifestyle favorites. I have a couple cleaning product favorites that, like, I know it sounds weird, but, like, you guys, they are good. Um, I've got some TV shows. Do I have movies? I don't know. We'll get to that. And then books to talk about. Um, just like last time, those will be at the end. I'm going to do beauty, lifestyle, cleaning products. That one's new. Books, movies, and then I'm going to do my fail. And, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll do books and movies. I'll do my fail first. I'll do books and movies last. All right. Let's jump into this. Um, for beauty products, I only have a few this time, actually. I've been trying out a bunch of new products in my current Shop My Stash, but it also just started. So I haven't, like, I wouldn't call any of them, like, favorites yet. You know what I mean? I just haven't been using them long enough to tell. And I haven't really been like playing around with a whole lot this month. But I did play around with one thing actually. This. This is the Iconic London Chrome Flash iPod in Lunar. I've had this sitting in my collection for so long and I have just completely ignored it. Why? Why have I ignored it? You guys, it is so pretty. And literally, so I did a look and uh, I did some eyeshadow look and then I put this on my lids and it was so like that is so light I built it up on my lids but even so like can you see it was so sparkly and pretty and just ooh, you know what I mean it was gorgeous and literally I tried this and I was like what why have I not been using this it gave like this chrome finish it was so beautiful it was so opaque it was so easy to work with it like stood it stayed in place where I wanted it to but then it would blend easily when I wanted it to as well I don't know if I've, I've missed the boat on these and these have been talked about for a while and I'm just completely I don't know but this oh my god this is so amazing um, I love it. I strongly recommend it. I don't know. I might have other shades. I don't think that I do, though. So I'm going to have to see what other shades this comes in. Because this is a silver, and I'm thinking like a copper, right? Like a penny. Oh, my God. That would be so pretty. Okay. I also have a couple of clothing favorites. All right. Um, other beauty favorites. This, okay, this is the Ilia. Limitless Lash Mascara. Okay, now I had always viewed Ilia as kind of like a minimal makeup brand, like minimal makeup, right? Obviously, that's not what I do. So I didn't really, like, sculpt this out. I ended up getting one. I don't even remember where. And I feel like it was recent, too, so I really should know. But um, I ended up getting this one, and I have been using it. And you guys, this is stunning. And of course, I didn't use it today because I'm a big dummy. But this is so stunning on the lashes. And I've done, you know, like different clips on Instagram and shit like that where I'm trying it on. And oh my goodness, I love this. This is so gorgeous. This is way more, I mean, so it gives you, no, I wouldn't call this like a minimal mascara. Like this gives you, ooh, you know what I mean? It gives you oomph. It gives you volume. It gives you a little bit of length. It is gorgeous. And I like this so much. I have already purchased another one. And you guys know how I am, especially with mascaras. I don't buy mascaras hardly ever because I get so many of them in subscription boxes and shit like that that I normally just don't do that. And I went out and purchased one because I loved it so much. And I can't imagine my life without it now. Um, so I feel like that's a good, that did a good job. 
Um, the KVD Vegan Beauty, this is a brush. It's the number 10. It needs to be cleaned, so don't judge me, but I wanted to talk about it. This is a foundation brush, and it's got like this flat edge top, and then it's kind of curved, right? I love putting foundation on with this because it works in a few different ways, right? So like I would kind of brush the foundation on, but then kind of turn and like stipple it in using the curved edge side. Do you see? Do you see? Oh, it's magical. So many of the foundation brushes that I have are like buffing brushes and like that's okay for some foundations, but not all of them. So th literally this was great. And when I was using that Fenty Matchsticks foundation, this is what I would use. So I would like draw on the Fenty Magic, and then I would use the curved side of this to just like kind of press it in. Not buff, just press. I loved it. This is honestly, I think one of the best foundation brushes that I've ever tried. It's so good. It's so good. And, and again, like I know KBD Vegan Beauty as a brand is kind of a shit show, but they've got some good products still, and that's one of them. Is my bun falling out? Oh, this is so stressful for me. Having my hair just a curly mess is so much easier. What is this random piece of hair? Go away. Okay. Um, okay, skincare wise, I have two skincare products that I'm currently using right now. Oh my gosh, so obsessed. The, <laughs> I've been working on this forever. This is the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I have literally been using this for so long. This is all that's left. And I don't think you guys fully understand how much product this shit comes with, okay? Can you see it? I've used this for months. And normally, when I use a product for that long, I end up getting bored of it. Like, even if it is the greatest, holy grailiest product in the entire world, my attention span is not that long. It goes away. I don't like it. And I, I get bored and I need to try something else. And I have yet to get bored of this. This is, um, okay, so I put this on underneath my eyes before I do my makeup, when I do my skincare, instead of like an eye cream. And I literally, I just rub it under, under my eyes. Goes on clear. Kind of pat it in if you want to. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. It depends on how thick of a layer I got going on. It is so cooling and it like instantly awakens your under eyes, right? And it just makes them look so good. It makes them feel so good. Brightens them up a little bit. Um, you, the cooling feeling just directly under your eyes because that is such a sensitive part of your face. I cannot even begin to describe to you. This is one of my favorite products I think I've ever tried. It's so good. And I don't know if I have another one of this or if I have another one of like the new version of this, which is like purple or something, but I got something and I'm going to use it. Also, I like, okay, I like Drunk Elephant as a brand, but there are so many of their products that I don't like. Like pretty much any of their uh, hair care and body care, not for me. I've tried a lot of it. I don't like most of it. Um, it's really their skincare that I like and it's not all of their skincare. I like them as a brand, but I guess I genuinely thought like before I started doing empty videos and like having to articulate my thoughts about each individual product, I really thought I liked more of the products than it turns out that I do. Um, but this is one that I really like. This is the Drunk Elephant. Mine has its belt all down the front. This is the C Firma Day Serum. So this is a vitamin C serum, and I love vitamin C serums, especially in the morning. But this one, I don't know. This is like a thicker serum. It's almost, I mean like it's thin like a serum, but it almost feels like an oil to me. You know what I mean? So it really gives you that like hydration, that moisturization, but still the vitamin C. And it's it's got this really nice like thick rich texture, which I really like. So I use, I like to use vitamin C serums um, in the morning when I do my skin here before I do my makeup. And this I think is like the best one that I've used. Uh, I have used this before, but not like, not the full size. This is my first full size of it. And I like it, it's good. We should all use those. I have to give a quick mention to this, and I know I've been talking about it to death, but you guys, I need you to understand, if you have a hard time doing false eyelashes, this was gifted to me, but that's not why I'm talking about it, because you guys, I, like, I, I, I get stuff gifted to me, and I talk about it once or twice, because I like it, and that's okay. I love this. I, <laughs> this is the, um, Good Jane's Kiss My Lash Mirror. The mirror comes off and then it connects onto here. And you've got a mirror from the bottom, from the top, and in the middle. And so you kind of put your eye there. And you guys, I did a video um, trying it out like the, for the first time, for the first time that I had ever used it, I did a video. And I will link that up here, but 
since then I have used it numerous times because I was like well what if that was just a fluke what if that just happened because it was the first time that I eat like that shit happens sometimes so I used it again and again and again I have been using it so much and oh my god it it works it's so easy literally and it takes me seconds to do my eyelashes and I could not do well okay I've always been able to do eyelashes but it's been too much of an effort because it takes me so long it takes seconds now seconds I say if you struggle get that I feel like my hair is just okay I'm not even gonna worry about it it's fine I have a couple of lifestyle favorites to talk about um not this shampoo this is the conditioner. This is actually a pretty good conditioner. I like this conditioner, but that's not what we're here to talk about, okay? I have the, the pamphlet. Um, okay, so I got these from Amazon. Someone at some point, I do not remember who, I'm so sorry, but someone at some point recommended these to me. The Flip It Bottle Emptying Caps. I don't remember if it was this particular brand recommended to me or if they had said um, just like that this type of product you could buy. I don't remember for sure, but I bought the Flip It bottle emptying caps. I'll link it down below along with everything else. Um, okay, so this came with a bunch. It's got like these little things that go around. So this was a pump bottle, okay? So I took the pump out, set that off to the side. It's got like these little things that go around and then it has like little washers inside that you can rinse and reuse and then it's got this cap, right? And it comes in a bunch of different sizes so you can fit it to the bottle that you have. And then you, it stands up. Ah. Uh, Okay, and then when you want to use it, you just pull this out and you squeeze it into your hand. So here's the thing, because at first I was like, okay, tipping it over, it will only get you so much more product though, right? The amount of product I have been wasting in my life, oh my god. So I genuinely, in any other situation, would have called this an empty and just moved on with my life because it's a pump product. How am I gonna turn a pump, even if I wanted to turn it over, how would I turn a pump product upside down? It makes no sense, I can't. And then like, the, how would the pump work? Uh, sometimes I'll turn it upside down and like squeeze it into my hand, but even then it, the pump gets all product all over it, so I don't really do that a whole lot. I was gonna call it an empty, okay? And then I got these, and I was like, well, you know what? I might as well try it. Um, I did not try these on the body washes that were in my last empties video, and now I'm wondering. I probably should have, because I probably could have gotten that last little bit out. Anyways, I, so this was <laughs> two or three weeks ago when I was like, I'm going to put this on here. And I don't use this conditioner every night. I use this probably once to twice a week, because um, some nights I don't condition my hair. Some nights I use a different conditioner. Some nights I use a hair mask. So I'd say on average I use this about once or twice a week. But even with that logic, that's three to six more uses, and it's still not empty. And every time I open it, I'm like, you can feel it, and it feels empty. And I'm like, okay, here's the last one. And I keep thinking it's going to, like, run out halfway through what I need. And it doesn't. It doesn't. This is saving me so much product. And these were, like, it was, like, $13 for a set. And you get a bunch of different sizes in the set. Anyways, I think I'm going to buy a new set. Um, cause that's amazing. So if you are the person who told me about them, thank you so much. It's a genius product and I cannot believe I've gone so long without having them. Um, also this was interesting. So I keep seeing people on like TikTok and YouTube and stuff, um, doing their little like body care routines or shower care routines or what have you. Um, and then instead of using like loofahs, they're using these silicone body brushes, right? Or like the ones that look firmer. <laughs> I don't know. But it's some type of silicone body brush. And so I've been curious about it because my husband and I use loofahs, but obviously you have to replace those pretty frequently and it is wasteful. Um, and also they kind of like, I like the exfoliation ones because I use exfoliators. I feel like it might be over exfoliation. I don't know. Anyways, short story long. I was at Target Dollar Spot and I found this and this was like a three dollar body scrubber and you put your hand through it like this or you can kind of like fold it up like this i mean or you can get extra i mean there's so many different ways right it's got a good okay so i use this for right now i'm using it for um when i do my scrubs i put some of my body scrub on this and then i use this on my legs and such it's so good 
and I feel like the scrub almost works a little bit better and it goes farther and I waste less and again why have I not been doing this I like this so much I went on Amazon and ordered a couple more in like different formats because I like this one but I want to try the one that everybody on TikTok is using um, but it's so good I love this so much it's fan it's fantastic three bucks to the target dollar spot so good also um, I think I might, I don't know if I'm going to switch from like to this from loofahs exclusively. We still have like a loofah stash and I'm going to have to see what my husband thinks, but I like it. Like, um, I'm getting there. Um, I want to talk about a couple of cleaning products really quick because you guys, they are so good. They're so good. Listen, um, if you're on Instagram, you may have, if you follow like any cleaning account ever, you've probably heard of Ms. Mrs. Hinch. Um, her Instagram is Mrs. Hinch Home. I'll link it down below. She does a lot of like cleaning type things, but she lives in the UK. Um, and so she has become like a worldwide sensation, okay? And so I've gotten a lot of good cleaning tips from her. And some of the products that she uses look fantastic, so much better than the cleaning products that we have in the US, mind you. And so I went looking for them online. I ended up ordering some to be imported from the UK because I needed to try them. Now, because she is so famous, they sell a lot of those products in the US now anyways. Um, you can get them through Amazon. I wanna talk about this one. This is one of the products. This is Star Drops. Uh, it's from the brand Star Drops. It's called the Pink Stuff. You can buy this on Amazon. They also have like a sprayable bathroom cleaner and like a couple of other products. The sprayable bathroom cleaner is actually pretty good too, but you can get like cute little sets and stuff. So Christmas gift idea, I don't know. This is a miracle cleansing paste. Um, scrub Daddy just came out with something similar to this that like comes with a Scrub Daddy and I use this with a Scrub Daddy. I have not tried the Scrub Daddy one yet though. I have it, but I haven't tried it because I already have an open one of these and then one of these that I purchased before the Scrub Daddy, so I'm trying to get through. Anyways, it's like a paste, okay? It's like, it looks almost like concrete, but like wet concrete and then I put it on my Scrub Daddy and then I scrub whatever I'm cleaning and then you rinse it off. This works so well and you can use this on like literally almost anything you can use it on saucepans cooker tops sinks uh, pvc barbecues ceramic tiles glass showers garden furniture paintwork boats brass rust the list is endless you can't use it on plastic acrylic or um, highly polished stainless steel literally like that's you can use it on pretty much anything else it is vegan it is cruelty free and 99 natural ingredients like it's so good i have gone through so many tubs of this stuff and i use it on everything like even the on your oven where you've got like the grease splatters from inside of the oven my husband i couldn't clean that off and so finally one day i was like i need you i need you to help me i need you to help me like scrub it off like my upper arm strength is not as good as yours help me scrub this off please and he tried for like 20 minutes and he's like, I hate stuff. I can't. I'm pretty sure that that's like just how the oven came. Like I'm pretty sure that that's like a design on the oven. And I was like, well, pretty sure it's not. Um, so I used this in a scrub daddy and I will say it did take a lot of scrubbing, but it did come off. And so I, oh, blown away. This, I clean this, I clean everything with this. Also, this is kind of a newer discovery, but again, this was a TikTok find. Everyone on TikTok was raving about it. I bought a bottle, tried it, and was like, <laughs> and then I told everyone about it. Like, uh, my husband and my mother, I think, both on separate occasions asked me if I was being sponsored by this brand because I would not shut up about it. And I'm not, it's, I'm not sponsored, but it's so good. And since then, I have gone out and purchased several more bottles. Now I have one for upstairs and one for downstairs. And I like it, though, because you can um, get refills. So you can just buy this piece and then you keep this piece and then you just stick the refill in, which this is almost empty. But anyways, it's the Dawn Power Wash. Have you heard of it? This is a dish spray. So it's like a spray version of Dawn dish soap, but this works on everything. I use this to clean my cabinets, right? You just spray it on, wipe it down, and then go over it with like a damp paper towel is what I was doing. My favorite thing though is like my kids and I bake a lot and if I bake something and then forget about the pan or get lazy and I don't want to clean the pan right away or a myriad of other things that happen and I leave the pan sitting there, obviously that is the fucking worst. Or like when you make brownies but like you make, you leave them in the pan and then you, like until they're gone but then you've got this pan with dried on crusted brownie parts and it is the worst, it is literally the worst. You guys, I sprayed this just 
zip, zip, zip. I don't know what that was, but I sprayed this on the pan and I let it sit for like five minutes and then I rent like I ran the pan underwater and everything just fell off. Oh my god. If you have to clean and if you have to do dishes, do yourself a favor and get this. And yes, could you use Dawn dish soap? Probably, but this is better. It's easier and it's more fun because you get to spray it. Okay, I stand by that. Um, a couple of <laughs> quick clothing favorites. I actually talked about this on TikTok and on Instagram. Um, Vans came out with a horror movie collection. I'm actually wearing one of the pairs now. I bought two pairs from that collection. I bought the Freddy Krueger, the Nightmare on Elm Street. I bought his shoes from the collection and then I bought Jason Friday the 13th. So these are the slip-ons that Jason came in. I love these. First of all, Vans slip-ons last forever. They're so good. They say Jay Voorhees on the side. These are adorable. And his mask and the words Friday the 13th are glow in the dark. Oh my god. And these are so comfortable. I have worn Vans since high school. I'm like literally, they last me forever. Like they last years and years and years. And I don't understand why we're not all just wearing Vans. Like, they are the easiest shoes. Okay, I'll put this hoodie really quick. It's by a company called Addison Parker. I'm pretty sure. I'll put a link down to it below. Okay, but I got this from like a Stitch Fix box forever ago. It was last year. Um, first of all, it's, I love this shade. Okay, super cute, super cozy. I love like the tie up here. Okay, it has the thumb holes. So if you're my age and you want to like relive your dramatic youth, it's great. It has a wonderful hood, okay? And then also, this is the coolest part. This comes out. And it's a built-in mask. Now obviously, um, I think I got this at, like the very beginning of the pandemic, um, but it's, it, that's so cool. Because if I'm wearing this, and I've forgotten a mask or my mask breaks. I genuinely forgot a mask one time. And then the mask, like the disposable one that they give you in stores, snapped. Oh, anyways, solves all my problems. I don't have to take anything extra with me. It's very good for people who don't pay attention to details like myself. Um, so yeah, if you are one of those people who are still masking up, this is so cool. Uh, definitely more and more convenient than having to um, remember to take masks. Okay. I'm sitting here thinking about my fail. I'm not going to call it a fail because I know that the issue is that the nozzle is clogged, so I'm going to I'm gonna unclog the nozzle and then we'll see. If it still sucks, we'll talk about it next month. Um, but as of right now, I'm just going to unclog the nozzle. Let's not disparage good names around here. Um, let's talk about some entertainment really quick. First of all, in the TV world, um, a couple of things. Number one, You Season 3 is out, and if you have not watched You, and you are above the age of 18, and you like mystery and psychology and thrillers, go watch You. It is one of the best shows I've ever seen. If you have any interest in psychology at all, phenomenal, okay? The Season 3 came out. I watched the whole thing, of course. It's been like two weeks. You guys. I genuinely think that that was the best season ever. And I always buy, um, because I don't trust, I don't trust technology. Okay. I've lost weight. I, I've, I've had way too much like digital shit and then something happens. The website crashes, the company goes bankrupt, my computer crashes and all the digital shit is gone. Okay. I don't trust it. So when I really like something, I buy the hard copy, right? So like DVDs or, um, like TV series on DVD, you get what I'm saying? And so I wasn't planning on buying you on DVD because I, when am I ever going to watch it again? You know what I mean? I wanted to see kind of how it went. They've been renewed for a fourth season already. We were watching the third season, like two episodes in, right? And I was really concerned because of how season two left off. We were like two episodes in and I turned to my husband and I was like, I'm buying this on DVD. I'm buying when the whole series, when the series ends, I'm buying the series on DVD because this is so much better. I was really nervous after season two and I was like, I don't understand how they're going to make this, like how they're going to keep this going without completely blowing up the storyline that they've got. And I had my theories and I wasn't super excited about them, but never could I have seen what they ended up doing coming. Never. It was so good. So I'm buying those on DVD 100% cannot freaking wait. Um, I've started, <laughs> I've started rewatching Dawson's Creek when I work out cause I have to have something to keep my attention, right? Otherwise I think too much about what I'm doing and I hate myself. Uh, but I restarted Dawson's Creek. What a good show. 
Okay, that's a classic. It's on Hulu. You're welcome. Also, my husband and I have not seen the last two seasons of Shameless, um, and we were waiting until the last two seasons, because they announced that, like, the whatever season was our last one, and so um, we decided to wait to watch it because we wanted to watch it from the beginning because it's a long fucking show. So we finally started rewatching it literally last night. We're on season one, episode one. There's like 13 seasons or something and they're ridiculously long and the episodes are ridiculous. This is one of the, when we first started watching it, there were like eight seasons and I think that was the longest amount of time that we've ever spent watching a show because it's so long. It is a very dark show and it is very adult. It's very graphic about a lot of things. It was um, a Showtime show, I think. So definitely if you are not over the age of 18 or if you don't like adult content, don't watch it. But if you do, and you are over the age of 18. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite shows. I think it might be my favorite show. Like Desperate Housewives was my favorite show, but Shameless may have knocked it out because Shameless always, oh, it has that, that toxic drama that like, it's, oh, I love it. I love the soap opera-y type shows that aren't soap operas, like the drama soap operas, right? Like the, but like the late night dramas. I don't know. It's so good. I love it. I'm trying to think about what movies we've watched this month and we've pretty much only watched Halloween movies. Like, I know we tried to watch The New Conjuring, um, and then we got distracted and we didn't finish it, but everything else has been Edward Scissorhands and Hocus Pocus and The Nightmare Before Christmas and things like that. Um, there was also, we watched a couple Spongebob movies with our kids in between there. So nothing really new with movies to report. And I, I have a feeling it'll stay that way for a little while because of Shameless. That'll take up a lot of our non-kid TV time but it's so good. Uh, Book-wise, let's take a look at my Goodreads. What was I reading last month? Saint? Oh, the Saint series. Listen, the first two were fine. The first one was good. The second one, meh. The third one, I completely lost interest. I love sequel books because I love not having to, like, find a new book after one's over, right? Like, I like just being able to read through. But I get so bored so quickly that I end up losing interest. Like, you gotta keep it going, okay? Um, so the Saint, I did not finish the Saint series. Um, if you were looking for an update on that, it did, no. Um, I read more than this. My reading was light last month. I didn't read a whole lot, okay? I read more than this. That, oh, that was a wild fucking ride, okay? Um, I'm gonna set up the scene for you in the first few chapters of the book, okay? The chick, um, goes to a di uh, prom with her boyfriend and her best friend and then she discovers at the restaurant that they're at that her boyfriend and her best friend are sleeping together and so this guy saw her find this out and so she, he saw like the whole thing go down so then he invites her to like hang out with him and his friends so she goes and hangs out with them I think they ended up like skipping the prom or something like that and like they went somewhere else I don't remember um, but so she gets along well with his friends and that's great. So he takes her home and she gets home and her house has burned down and her entire family is dead. And if that's not a way to start a book, okay? And then it just got crazier from there and this guy was like, oh, come live with me. And oh my God. And it was, it's, if you like slow burns, it's a really good slow burn. And it actually was part of a series, um, it's called, so the book is called More Than This, and then the series is More Than. Um, so I read that one, and then it's about, like, each subsequent book is about other people in the friend group. I started reading More Than Her, and here, okay, I didn't, so I did lose interest, but there was a specific reason for it, because I finished More Than This, and then I waited, like, three weeks without reading anything, and then I started More Than Her, and at that point in time, because my memory is so garbage, everything like all of the details about this friend character were gone and so I was like trying to piece it together and the book itself is confusing because it goes from both of their perspectives um the friend and then the girl that he's interested in but then it also jumps back and forth from past to present past to present past to present and I needed more context that I did not remember so I did not finish that one which means I'm not finishing that series I might go back and reread that series like the whole thing one day not right now but it was it was okay I think I really was enjoying it. I just needed more context to understand it. Um, then I, I started reading um, this series called Carnage. So the series is The Four Horsemen. 
Um, so the first book is Carnage. I read the first book and I'm about to, literally I just finished the first book, which means I'm going to start the second book probably tonight. The second book is Chaos. Okay. It is an 18 plus dark romance. And like you have like, okay. it's So this kind of stuff doesn't bother me as much because it's fake, right? But it's some hard to read stuff in there. Um, and it is a dark romance. So, um, viewer reading would be advised. Viewer discretion, reading discretion, reading discretion would be advised. If you like that type of stuff, it's probably right up your alley. The spicier side of, of book talk on TikTok is where this recommendation came to me from. And I feel like most of the just absolute what the fuck books that I get recommended are from that side of, of book talk. Um, and the plot to some of them is good. Some of them are basically porn. Uh, this one has a good plot. Like, I'm very intrigued because there's a lot of, like, mystery surrounding what's happening. But it is also porn. So you have to be okay with that, all right? All in all, though, I'm liking the first book so far. It definitely has some trigger moments in it. Um... But it's it's good so far. It's good. I'm I'm overlooking it. I'm trying to get through the series. I really want to know what happens. All right. Um, okay. So those are, those are my favorites and my kind of semi fail this month. Uh, it's been a slower month, even though this video is like a half hour long. I don't know. Um, but it's been a slower month because I have just kind of been going with the flow. It's been October. It has been a busy. Oh my goodness. I do have some exciting videos coming up. I've got a lot of a lot of project pans. I am doing Vlogmas this year. Um, and then I also, we are going on like a smallish vacation type thing. Um, so I will be doing a vlog about that during Vlogmas. Okay? Um, so if you are interested in any of that, make sure you hit the bigger subscribe button below me. We have lots of new hauls, lots of new project pans, lots of new shop my stashes. There's just a whole, uh, some, some new lifestyle stuff. I also have a couple of like DIY type stuff that I plan on doing. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and share that with you guys because I normally don't, but I post about it on Instagram and then I always get a bunch of questions. So I'm just going to film it this time. We're just going to film it and so on and so forth. So make sure you subscribe to any of that sounds interesting to you so you don't miss it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what you are loving this month. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I will catch you next time. Have a great one. Goodbye.